happen this weekend. Good morning, TC. Good morning. Good afternoon. Yes. Um, a little bit late. My son just got picked up from school because he wasn't feeling good. He was coughing and now he's on the way to the urgent care because he can't stop coughing. So uh, we don't know what it is. It's really annoying. Happens like once a month now. It's a once a month thing. Uh, what time do you get done packing last night? I got done packing at 117. It's the exact time. I made a story as soon as I was done. So what's up, Heather? My eBay store has been dead for a week. I don't know why. Just keep listing. Just keep listing. Yeah, little little guy's a little sick. We don't know what's wrong. Every single week, I swear, at least one of the kids are sick every week. So she's on the way to take them to the urgent care because they didn't have any availability at the pediatrics. So he's on the way to the urgent care. So hopefully everything's good with him. I'll find out here shortly. But let's go ahead and get started. Uh, like I said, we got 25 orders to pack up this morning. Um, four sold on Mercari. I think three on Poshmark. And the rest are all on eBay. So tons of eBay sales this weekend, along with, I know YouTube can kind of see it, but you guys, that's all whatnot sales that I had to pack up last night. So I've been packing for a while. I'll be happy when this is all over with, because I'm so, I'm so tired of packing right now. All right, let's go ahead and get started. If it's your first time here, hit the follow button top left-hand corner. What I do on this channel is I buy stuff cheap. I resell online for a profit. That's what I do for a full-time job. So right now we're going to go over everything that sold this weekend, except for the whatnot sales, because those sold on whatnot. Everybody already knows what it sold there. Um, but yeah, hit the follow button top left hand corner. If you want to learn how to make a little bit of extra money, this is the channel for you. I don't charge anything for my uh, content. I give it all away for free. So if you want to learn how to make money for free, hit the follow button. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First up, first sale is this men's good morning, Trisha or afternoon, whatever it is. Um, first sale is this men's marmot jacket. I know it's a little bit hard to see. It's a soft shell marmot jacket. We picked this up for Eight uh eight dollars and three cents. It sold for forty-one dollars on Mercari. Mercari. Um shipping was eight dollars and eighty-two cents. Fees were five seventy-nine. So profit on this is eighteen dollars and thirty-six cents. Do you cross post items? Yes, I use list perfectly. I have a link in my bio. If you use code Kway Shop, you get 30% off your first month. What's up, Joel? What's up, Central? Appreciate everybody hopping in. Tokyo just hopped in. Tokyo. Perfect timing, buddy. We're pa we're packing up all of our Mercari sales from this weekend. Hello, Queen. Hello, Queen. We're packing up all Mercari sales right now. This is a marmot jacket sold on Mercari, by the way, Tokyo. Mercari. Appreciate all the follows coming in. If you guys have any questions while I'm packing up orders, feel free to drop them down in the chat below. If you want to see a full screen of what's going on, the whole room going on behind me, not just my, you know, ugly mug, you can go over to YouTube. You can see everything behind me on YouTube. So appreciate the ticket. Thank you so much. If you're new here, hit that follow button. I do these lives pretty much every single morning. Going over what's sold. There you go. That one's packed up. I just used a um, regional A box. You can use these for regular priority now. You don't have to use these specifically for regions. So I use these for my jackets and stuff. His Mercari sense was tingling. I know it was. As soon as you heard the word Mercari, he came on in. It's kind of weird. That's really weird, actually. Always looking fresh, though. Uh, I'm wearing the same shirt I was wearing last night. <laughs> Did you get my message? I haven't looked at any socials this morning. I woke up and then we had to go pick up the son. Now he's on the way to the, the hospital. So we haven't really done anything this morning. I've kind of just been um, focusing on putting stuff in my spreadsheet and trying to like bounce back between the kiddo and the spreadsheet. So I'll check the messages. As soon as I'm done here, I'll look at your message. I promise. I promise. I promise. Next up, shout out to the Spanx queen, the queen of Spanx, Kayla. She found these at a red, white, and blue. These are a pair of 2XL Spanx Distress like jeggings. Um, paid $32.10 for these. These sold for $100 bucks on Mercari. Hear that, Tokyo? $100 bucks on Mercari. Get out of here with that. Can you use regional for a priority? Yes, because there's no more regional boxes. There's no more. There's no such thing as regional rates anymore. Is anyone else lagging? I shouldn't be lagging. I should be good. Yeah. If you're lagging, just hop out and hop back in. It's not me. I did reset my router right before this live. So that's awesome. That is, that's really good. Mention you, uh, Chris at peak. And he said you are a friend. Um, and you want to live close. Yes. Chris at peak is the goat. We've went, uh, I have a video of me and him shopping at a salvation army. Love, love Mr. Cap, Mr. Cap. I need another bucket. My mailman's going to love me today. So no lack. No lag. Like a Godzilla movie. What's like a Godzilla movie? 
Um, looking for a full size light box. So you use one, anything you don't like, but I love mine. I I'm, I'm going to be using mine tonight on live. If you want to see it, it's actually behind me right there. Um, uh, but I have a link in my bio. If you want to purchase through my link, it is more expensive than it used to be, but I would buy it now because they're only going to go up. So is your son going to be okay? He's going to be all right. He's just got a cough and it literally will not go away. He is just like hacking and it won't go away. Um, he gets this like once a month. So she's taking him to the urgent care scene. Every time we take him in, they always tell us it's allergies. They're like, it's allergies. I'm like, how can it be allergies? This kid coughs like nonstop all the time. And once a month, he has like a coughing fit. And that's what he's having right now. So he should be all right. He's a tough guy. But she's taking him to the urgent care right now. So no lag on PC. There you go. How's your son doing? He's doing all right. He's he's going to the um, he's going to the urgent care right now. So I'll find out here shortly what they say. He's doing fine. He's laughing and giggling, but every five seconds he coughs. And it's not a whooping cough either. That's what we thought it might have been. But it's, he's not like he's not like gasping for air. So I don't know. Oh, next. I forgot to show this. 511 Tactical Pants. Um, pick these up for 533 These were an old listing. I delisted it. I relisted it. Within a week, they sold um, for 25 bucks. Not the best profit on these. I only made $7.64. So could be asthma. I know we have a, we have an inhaler for him and we gave him a breathing treatment and it didn't help. So that's what they keep selling us too. They keep telling us asthma. And then when it, you know, when the, when the uh, allergy season flares up, it flares up as asthma. That's what they keep telling us too. I don't know if I believe it, but we'll see. Next sale is a, another Kayla fine. These are um, Athleta size, small Venice pants. Um, we paid five thirty four for these. These sold for thirty two bucks on Mercari. After fees, shipping, cost of goods, we make fifteen dollars and ninety six cents. How old is he? He's two years old. He's two years young. <clears throat> two years young. Time of change, doctor. Yeah, time of change, doctor. Yeah, that's why we're going to a different one today. We're taking him there, and if they don't help us, then he's just going to go to the ER, and then he's going to get a whole bunch of tests done. And then we'll figure out exactly what's going on. All right. That one. I already printed out my label. I get my labels from Pirate Ship. So there we go. That one is shipped out. Those are all my Mercari sales. Now we're off to, do you sell sneakers? Yes. I have a couple sneakers that sold today. So we'll be going over those in a minute. Um, now we're off to Poshmark sales. I have three Poshmark sales to ship out. Um, first of which is a Peter Millar shirt, brand new with tags. Another item that sat in my store for like two years. I don't know why this listing just fell to the pit of nothingness. I, I just wasn't getting any offers on these. Um, delisted, relisted. I have two of these. This one sold for 50 bucks. I paid $21.40. So after fee shipping cost of goods, I make $18.60. This is why D-list and relist works. D-list and sell similar works because you get sales like this. I did the same thing on Poshmark too. I ended my listing, I redid it, and then all of a sudden it sold. So hope your son gets better soon. Appreciate it. He should be all right. Next week, the other kid will be sick. It's like we never we never get a break with sick kids. Every week they're, they're always sick. We feed them their vitamins. We give them nutritious meals, and all they do is get sick every week. It's kids at school. There's nothing you can do. That's what happens when kids were out of school for like a whole year. Their immune system got weaker, and now all the kids are getting sick all over again. So do you use auto posture? I don't, but I'm thinking about getting it. I'm actually thinking about getting it. Auto posture. If you're out there and you're listening to this, hit your boy up. I will, uh, I'll use your product, and then I'll promote it if it's good. Hear me, Auto Posture? Hit me up. I got you. I can sell a lot of your product. Trust me. But I need to use it first. Um, you got a website. Don't you have um, size sneaker? Um, you got a website. Don't you have a size sneaker? We got to take 17 and a half. I don't know what you said there, Mike, but I do have an eBay store. It's linked in my bio. All my sneakers are currently listed on eBay. Um, they're all new in box right over there. I'm running low on them. I'm not picking up much sneakers anymore. So if you want any, you got to buy them soon because I'm probably not going to restock. Probably not at all. Uh, what did Donna say? I don't see Donna's comment. Oh, well. What is auto posture? Auto posture basically delist and relist your items for you on Poshmark and Mercari. So it's really good for Mercari 
because Mercari, if you know, as soon as you list something, it'll fall to the pits and it'll be way down in search. But auto posture will delist and relist it for you. It pushes it right back to the top of search. And I think it does like so many items per day, but I don't know too much about it because I've never used a product before. So that's all I know about it. You can use USPS boxes for eBay. Yes. If you ship USPS, you can use the USPS boxes appropriate with eBay. I'm going to go ahead and ship some items after I get done with uh, these Poshmark sales and you'll see exactly how I ship my items. Next up, Judy Blue Jeans. People keep telling us they can't move these. I don't know. These sell so fast for us. It's ridiculous. And this one sold for a good price. This was a bigger size. It was size 16W. Uh, sold for 35 bucks. We paid 642. Sold on Poshmark after fee shipping cost of goods. We make $21.58. This is going to go into one of these envelopes. We get these Tyvek envelopes for free. When you sell on Poshmark, you can use any priority mail envelopes you want to. Uh, packaging. The only things you can't use is express mail packaging. So good. Uh, what'd you say? Could possibly be allergy induced asthma. Yes. That's what they keep telling us. But I mean, we give them the inhaler and it doesn't help. So I don't know. I wish he would just stop being sick for the longest time. It was cause he was popping teeth. So he was constantly coughing and snotty because of his teeth, but now he's got all of his teeth. Um, well, most of his teeth. So it could be another tooth popping in. We didn't we didn't look at that. That could be a possibility, but it's just kids always sick. Always sick. When I was a kid, I got sick like once a year. It's insane. It's insane. All right, let me grab this one. Is it a machine inhaler? Yes, we have both the ch -ch and we have both the er inhaler. We got both of those. And he took both of them today and he was still coughing. All right, there we go. That one is shipped out. Appreciate everybody uh, worrying about it. Don't say that. What I'm not supposed to say, Kirby. What can I not say? I have five kids, all grown. Kids are constantly sick, hang in there. P.S. Teachers um, catch it frequently as well. And husbands, yes, we know, we know. But even my girls, they weren't sick like this. But I don't know. Again, it could be just because there was a whole bunch of people. Maybe this is what Kirby's trying not to have me say. There was a time and period where there was kids out of school for a whole entire year and it messed up their immune systems. And now when they go back to school, they're, you know, regaining their immune system. So everybody's getting sick again. It's just how it works. That's how it works. All right. Next up, we got an Untucket shirt. Um, this is a used Untucket shirt. Well, we picked this up for $8.56. Sold for $31 on Poshmark. I took a best offer. After fee shipping, cost of goods, we make $16.24. Walking Petri dishes, 100%. All of them are. Every one of them are. Um, I made 8K in sales in the last three months. You have taught me so much. Let's go. That's awesome. I love when I hear stories like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I appreciate that. That makes me feel good about what I do. I get those messages like so frequently. It's And it's not because of me. Remember that. I mean, it is because I taught you a few things, but it's because you took the time and you put in the work and you did the listings and you did the shipping. That's all you. That's not me. I just gave you a couple brands to look out for and I showed you how to ship a little bit, but that's all you. There's so many people that are watching right now. There's 204 people watching, 208 people watching on TikTok right now. Um, I bet you 198 of them will watch this and they won't take action on it. All the rest will. So those of you who take action on what I teach and what I show, you're the ones that are the real winners, not me. Because it takes time it takes patience to be able to learn how to do this but once you learn it it's a lot of fun like you guys most of you you guys probably know it's a, it's a lot of fun to do this so what's up falcon um i was sick an entire year after i started teaching it was horrible yeah on and off on and off luckily I don't, i'm not getting sick so as long as i'm not getting sick all right we got how many ebay orders orders awaiting shipment we have a ton of eBay orders. eBay was popping this weekend and I didn't do anything on eBay. I was focused on getting whatnot set up. We have 18 eBay orders for a total sales price of $1,306.01. That is from Friday to Monday morning. So really, really good sales this weekend. Like crazy good. Appreciate all the likes coming in too. Keep tapping that screen. Um, this weekend was amazing. I'll show you the best sale from this weekend. This was how I started my weekend was this sale right here. Let me get it. It's a three item sale. This, this, and this. All right. Shout out to everybody that says Tommy Bahama doesn't sell best weekend yet. 12 orders on eBay four on Poshmark. Let's go. Good job. 
Best sale this weekend because everybody says Tommy Bahama doesn't sell. I sold this Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirt. This 100% silk. It's got a nice like beach pattern to it. This Tommy Bahama, really nice pattern to this one as well. Again, 100% silk. And then this brand new in the package um, Bugachi shirt. I paid, hold on, for all of these together. Let me see where it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. there it is right there. I paid $47.27. These all sold in the same bundle, full price sale, no best offers, $159.97. I believe the, um, both of the, it had to be, yeah, both of these sold for 50 bucks each. And then this one sold for 60. Tommy Bahamas used selling for 50 bucks a piece. I told you guys, don't sleep on Tommy Bahamas. They're good. Had a great sales on eBay this weekend too. Nice. I got to spend so much time with my kids now. I do too. That's a good thing. My, my son is sick today. My wife didn't have to call out of work. I just basically said, take him, take him to the, the doctor. I'll finish all this stuff around here. Do what you got to do. Cause uh, that's a good thing about working for yourself. You can drop everything and do stuff like that. So awesome sale. Yes, it was. That's how I started my weekend. I was like, hell yeah. That is a way to start the weekend. From packing nine, I'll pack mine way too slow or way too low. Are you pricing yours way too low. My bad. Pricing yours way too low. It's all about the pattern. I don't, I arbitrarily price my Tommy Bahamas. I did not go on eBay and look up this exact pattern of Tommy Bahama. I looked at it and I said, nice floral colors, nice pattern, 100% silk, good size, size large. I'm pricing this for 50 bucks. That's how I price mine. I do not look up exact comps for these shirts. I just price them based off the pattern and what style they are. So, um, part two, take them to the, I have no clue how to read that word. That is too big of a word for old K way. I am putting these in a box. I'm going to take care of these a little bit more. I, I would normally throw these in a bag and save myself a little bit of money. But to be honest, the person paid a lot of money for this stuff. So I'm, I'm going to make sure I take care of them. Um, we're going to throw this in one of those uh, regional boxes again. These just go priority mail now. There's no such thing as regional rates anymore. So we're just going to throw this on the scale. It is going to weigh two pounds exactly, exactly on the dot, which is beautiful. Throw this onto eBay and the box is a 10 by seven by five. Appreciate everybody hanging out. If you're not following, hit that follow button top left-hand corner. I do these lives every morning showing you guys what's sold, going over what's sold, all that good stuff. Um, I put one thing to sell on eBay, but not selling. What am I doing? You put one thing on eBay. <laughs> That's what you're doing wrong. If you go into a Walmart and an entire Walmart store, there was one thing sitting on the shelf. What are the chances that that's the exact item that you're looking for? It's probably slim to none. So the, the problem is not you put up the wrong item. It's just you don't have enough. You have one item. So you have to, I have uh, almost 2000 items in my store. So to get consistent sales, you're going to have to have more items listed. So, yeah, you just started. So just keep listing. You're, you can't expect to list one thing on eBay and sell it the same day or sell it the same week. If that was the case, I would have 2000 items selling this weekend because that's how many items I have listed on eBay. So you have to, you have to know that you have to keep listing. It's it's not just unless you have something that has a crazy good sell through rate, like a like a TI um, eighty four TI eighty four plus, I think is what it is. Calculator. Those have crazy sell through rates. You list one of those, those should sell. But if you're listing just like a men's shirt, it's not going to sell instantly. So, thank you, no problem. Thank you for the question. That was a good question, though. That's a that's a newer person question. I appreciate the newer people questions. Because there's people in the chat that probably all think the same thing. Like they list one thing on eBay. They expect it to instantly sell. It's just not going to happen. I have 100 items on eBay. Don't even sell one a day. There you go. The I think it's you sell half a percent of your store a day or something like that is the is the equation. Is like the normal equation. I think it's something like that. Don't quote me on that though. Next up, Vineyard Vines shirt. This is a nice color block. Vineyard Vines, as you can see from the back, um, this is size medium, a little bit of a lower size. I paid eight dollars and three cents. I took a best offer of twenty-seven bucks on this. I gotta grab some envelopes, some eBay envelopes. I forgot these. I'm just gonna throw it in one of these. I get these with my quarterly coupon. If you want to buy them, I do have a link in my bio. You can purchase through my link. Yeah, even a TI-84 might not sell fast unless you price it to sell. 
some people price those things to sell and I've seen people sell them so fast, like within hours, minutes, seconds of listening, those things sell super well. But yes, even some of those might sit around for a little bit, depending on where you price it. By your son, sometimes chronic cough can be reflux, sinus drip. Yes, that's another thing the doctor said. Um, it might be the fact normally what he was coughing a lot because he's having teeth pop in. When you have teeth pop in, you get a little bit of sinus drip and he just constantly coughs and it's just a reaction he has. That's what the doctor tells us. But like today, if you guys, you'll probably hear him when he comes in. He's literally like every five seconds, like, <coughs> like constantly coughing to where he ate lunch today and he threw it up because he couldn't stop coughing and like upset his stomach and dude likes to eat. So I know. I know he felt really bad when he puked that up because he was like, damn, I just lost my lunch. He likes to eat. He's a, we call him little pig because he likes to eat. He's like a little piggy boy. Just runs around and eats all day. You sent offers to all your watchers. Yes, I didn't do it this weekend because I totally just, I was slacking this weekend, but I have like 60 offers to send. So I'm going to do that right after I end my live. Leave my boy alone. Oh, I know who you are. I know who you are. Jordan, what are you doing here? Jordan, this is the, the, do you just like creep in the background until I say something random and then you just start talking? It's pretty creepy, Jordan, I must say. Having a hard time figuring out how to print a uh, Dymo with eBay. Any tips? So when you're printing out your, hold on, I'll show you exactly how you do it. Let me uh, go over this and I'll, I'll, I'll flip my screen for you. Next up, we got a Southern Tide um, shirt. This is a men's XL. Paid $4.28 for this. This sold for 30 bucks on eBay. All right, let me um, throw this in here and I'll show you exactly how you get your settings on eBay to print from the Dymo. It's really simple. It's just a click of a click of a button. All right, let me throw this in here, throw a little piece of tape on the back. I just buy the sticker paper. Oh, for your regular printer, let me tell you, if you're using a regular printer and you're just using sticker paper, you're wasting a lot of money. It's way better to purchase a thermal printer. And over time, I realize it's expensive at first. You will save a bunch of money down the road, a ton of money down the road. All right, give me one second. Let me go down to the bottom. This is how you change right there. Um, underneath where the buyer's address is, you're going to go all the way down to the bottom and you're going to hit print format. And then you'll hit change and you just change it to the PDF four by six. So this is on your shipping page, on your actual shipping page. You change it once and it should always stay there no matter what. So PDF um, down at the bottom, right-hand side, that will change to your Dymo settings. Boom. What's the best printer product? I use a Dymo 4XL. I would not suggest buying a Dymo 5XL. They, I don't think they uh, make the 4XL anymore. The 5XL, they made it so you can't use off-brand labels. You have to buy Dymo labels and they are more expensive. So there are better printers out there. If you can get your hands on a 4XL, I would say get your hands on a 4XL. I love my Dymo, but to buy them new, they're really expensive now because they're, you know, discontinued. Um, there's a there's one called an IDPRT. Chris at Peak has that in his bio. It's a really good one. Um, another one is a brother printer. There's Zebra printers. There's tons out there. Um, just make sure you're buying appropriately for your budget. Um, but I've heard only good things about the IDPRT. Rolo is a good one too as well. Rolo, everybody talks good about Rolo. So um, also Rolo and IDPRT, you can use the UPS label. So you can get like, I think it's like a thousand or 2,200 labels, something like that for free from US or UPS. Um, with the Dymo, you can't use those. So that's another perk to having the IDPRT. So see, people have the IDPRT down in the comments. Look up one of those. I might reach out to them too. If IDPRT... You want to sponsor old K-Way? I will sell my Dymo because uh, I actually want the free labels from UPS. <laughs> I like free labels. I like free-ish. Free-ish is good. Got it cheap on Facebook? Yes. If you want a Dymo 4XL, a great option is just look on Facebook and you could probably find one like somebody like closed down a business and they have like 15 available because a lot of businesses use multiples and you can find one super, super cheap. So love my IDPRT. See, a lot of people have the IDPRT. All right, next up, this is a pretty crazy sale. I don't know when I picked these up, to be honest. Uh, these are a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren um, size 34 shorts. Um, they are brand new. Uh, I paid $5.33 for them. I normally don't pick these up because they don't sell very well. I must have just picked them up because they were new. Um, 
Five thirty-three. These sold for thirty bucks. So um, I don't know when I picked these up. These might be a recent purchase, actually. I don't know, but uh, yeah, five thirty-three into thirty bucks. Amazon warehouse deals have the most. Oh, there you go. How do I um, how do I not know about the free labels? USP or UPS? If you sign up with a business account, I think you get like um, a free amount of labels and you're supposed to only use them with UPS packages, but you can use them with anything. It doesn't matter. It's not like it has UPS branding on the outside. So might as well use it for free. Unfortunately, you can't use it with the, uh, with the Dymo because it's, it's one that loads from the back and it's not on a uh, spool. So it sucks. Can't use them with a Dymo. So IDPRT, I'll, I'll, I'll run your product if you're listening to this, if you happen to listen to this, love my Rolo. Emily says on YouTube, she loves the Rolo. Um, how to increase my sales list, good products, good titles, good descriptions, good photos. Make sure you're picking up items with good sell through rates. That's how you increase your sales. That's like the, that's the, that's the secret sauce to eBay. Um, how do you resize labels for posh? Posh labels should come out. Um, maybe in the settings, I probably did this a long time ago and I don't remember, but it's probably within your settings. You go in there and you change it to the four by six. Uh, my labels always come out four by six now. So I'm assuming I did that like way back in the day. So love your Rolo too. Rolos are good too. Lobo, Rolos are kind of like IDPRTs, but they're like, you know, they're like the Lamborghinis and IDPRTs are like the Toyotas, right? It's like the, the name brand is what sells it, but it's really like, you know, similar. All right, next up. These were a brand, this was a, these were a brand. This was a brand that I found out on one of my live thrifts. People told me to pick it up. These are Castaway um, shorts and they have like little lobsters going all through them. I paid $4.26 for these and they sold for 30 bucks. They didn't sell super fast. It took about two months, but hey, 4.26 and the 30, I'll take that all day. I have a zebra too. Zebras, I heard good things about those too. Zebras are good. The brother printers, I guess, are Wi-Fi printers, which are great because you don't have to have your computer hooked up. So for any reason, like... Old K-Way has uh, a really big issue with my internet. So if I ever use that, well, I guess I couldn't use it if the power or if the internet's out. Never mind. Don't listen to what I just said. That didn't make any sense at all. That made absolutely zero sense what I just said. The good thing I didn't finish my sentence. All right. These are just going to go into an eBay poly mailer. These are going to ship for 15.1 ounces. So we're going to put them in as one pound, which will still ship first class on eBay. Shipping for $5.93. These are going to Orlando, Florida. Good. They're going really close. Never had an issue with zebras. Uh, I never had an issue with dymos either. I think all the printers are built really, really well, so you won't really have an issue with them. Definitely wanted to get a Bluetooth one, um, but the ID part, PRT is fine. Yeah, you don't really need Bluetooth too much. It is nice to be able to print your Poshmark labels from your phone, but you don't really need it. I've never had an actual need for one. I guess if you're like on the road too, like if you're like traveling and you wanted to bring a printer with you, that would be a great option, but you don't really need one. All right. That one is shipped. Next up, let's grab something random here. Oh, this is a good sale. This is a Marmot uh, windbreaker. It's got one of the kangaroo pouches in the front. Um, I picked this up for $5 and 33 cents. I took a best offer this weekend of 33 bucks. This is under a pound. It should be. So this, yep. It's going to go into a poly mailer. What's up, Leah? I list while I have you on my TV. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah, if you guys missed any part of this live, I am streaming live on YouTube as well. So you can go back on YouTube and rewatch this live, see everything I sold, all that good stuff. Appreciate everybody on YouTube right now too. If you guys could back out really quick of the chat and hit that like button and then come right back in, I'd appreciate it. The more likes you get, the more better it does in the algorithm, all that good stuff. So I appreciate you guys. What was the last brand? It was called Castaway. Castaway. I've never heard of it before I started doing my live thrifts and people were like, Hey, pick that up. That's a good brand. I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. I'll see how well it does. Where do you get the clear bags? Link in my bio. All the products I use on a regular basis are linked in my bio. Direct links to purchase from Amazon. Those are affiliate links. So if you purchase anything from my links, it doesn't cost you anymore, but it does give me a kickback. So if you guys are ever purchasing anything and you're like, I need to repurchase those bags. Instead of just going to your Amazon cart and repurchasing them or your past orders, just go through my link again. It's direct link. You don't have to worry about doing it. And it does support me. So I'd appreciate it. If you could, if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine too. But it doesn't cost any more. Um, 
Do you like paying shipping and handling? I think that um, with selling clothing, this is my philosophy. Um, other people have a different philosophy. When it comes to free shipping, when the buyer sees something, they're getting something for free, they're more inclined to buy it. It also separates me out from the crowd because um, a lot of people charge shipping and a lot of people don't know how to charge shipping. So on a sweater like that, they would charge like $9 shipping. So what I do is I give free shipping. Also, if you guys didn't know, a lot of people have the Amazon mindset. I've explained this a few times too. A lot of people have the Amazon mindset where you know they have prime shipping and they get free shipping already. So when they go on eBay, first thing they do is they search what they're looking for and they filter for free shipping. If you charge shipping and your price is actually lower than mine, they will still never see your item because mine is free shipping and yours isn't. So to get myself separate a little bit better because mine gives something for free, it also helps me when people filter for free shipping, they find mine and they won't find yours. I sold half my inventory in 90 days. That's pretty, that is really good actually. Half your inventory in 90 days, let's go. That's awesome. Keep up the good work. All right, next up, we got a FootJoy Windbreaker. This is um, an item I picked up from Poshmark to resell back online. I paid $9.72 for this, and it sold for 40 bucks. I got this in like a little bit of a bulk buy on Poshmark, bought a bunch of stuff. Um, I think a couple of them were like Peter Millar Masters shirts too, $9.72, and this one sold for 40 So thanks for shipping and handling information. I appreciate it. No problem. Um, is the Blue Patagonia up for sale? Um, it is up for sale. If you want it, uh, hit me up on Instagram. I'll give you a good deal on it. I haven't listed it yet. It's still sitting in a bag. It probably won't get listed for at least another another couple weeks too. But you have to pay higher eBay fees. No, you don't. If you think that you don't pay fees on your shipping and handling, you're wrong. You need to look up eBay's. Uh, you need to look up uh, eBay's terms of service. They changed that like 17 years ago or something like that. That's what Chris said. It was like 15 years ago they changed that or something. But no. You pay fees on shipping and handling. Every platform pretty much now pays fees on shipping and handling. So they calculate what the cost of your item is. And if your shipping is $5 and your cost of your item is $30, you're paying shipping, you're paying fees on $35. If I give $35 free shipping, I'm paying fees on $35. Either way, you're paying the same fees as I am. There is no difference. It's the same exact fees. Same exact. I know a lot of people think they're like cheating the system because they do that. It's not true. What's up, Arlen? Um, how do you calculate um, what price of shipping will be? So I've been doing this for a while. I know an item like this that's around like 12 ounces will be around 5 to $6 a ship depending on where it ships. So that's what I put into the cost of my item. It is, it is a little harder at first to know what shipping will be. Appreciate the roses. Um, what I would suggest to actually do when you first start is charge shipping. So that way you can learn what shipping is on a few different items. And then as you get more experience, that's when you start giving free shipping. Um, don't do it at first because you're going to make some mistakes as you go and you don't want to make a mistake on free shipping and lose all the profit on your item. So that's what I would suggest. This one is going for $4.88 to Indiana. So there you go. Right around five bucks. Terry, what's up? How do you measure clothing? So you do a pit to pit. When I, what I do on shirts is I do a pit to pit, a shoulder to shoulder and a top to the bottom of the shirt. That's my um, measurements on a shirt, on a pair of jeans. It's a waist measurement. It's an inseam measurement, which is the crotch area all the way down to the cuff of the jean. And then a front rise, which is the crotch area to the top of the button, like right above the top of the button. And then the back rise is the exact opposite measurement. So those are my jean measurements. If you want to know how jeans are measured, how we do our measurements, what I want you to do is I want you to come to my wife's live at 8, 845 tonight. She's going to be on live most likely unless the little one's still sick. She won't be on live. But um, tonight, if she's on live, it's going to be 845 over at K the Book Nerd. She does all that. She shows you guys how she lists, how she takes measurements, all that stuff. 845. And then I go live at 930. There you go. That one is shipped. <clears throat> no problem. You offer free shipping on Poshmark too? I don't offer free shipping on Poshmark because Poshmark doesn't have the same like search as eBay does. And Poshmark buyers are more accustomed to pay shipping. So what they'll do is they'll bundle a few items together and use that same shipping cost. So I don't give free shipping on Posh. I don't think you should. I think it's just pretty much for eBay. All right, next up, Alan Flusser. I think is how you pronounce it. Flusser, Alan Flusser. This, this brand is not that great. The reason I bought it is because of that print and because it's a 2XL. I bought a few of these. I have two more left. I think I bought four. I bought uh, two I've sold and two are still left. I only paid $3.21 for these, so that's another reason why I picked these up. 
This one sold for 25 bucks and this went to a repeat buyer. So the, this person probably bought the other one off me if I can remember correctly. So no problem. Appreciate all the questions. I know I'm missing a few because obviously I'm shipping, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop in the chat. If you're not following already, hit that follow button. I do these lives every morning. I uh, ship out my items. Obviously Monday mornings are heavy um, shipping from the weekend, but normally I only ship like 10 items a day and uh, I can answer a lot more questions. So feel free to drop in the chat. Do you cross post your items? I use a platform called List Perfectly to do that. I cross post from eBay to Poshmark and Mercari. I have a link in my bio. If you use that link and you use code Kway Shop, you get 30% off your first month. But yes, I use um, I use that um, list perfectly. What size what sizes sell better? For men's bigger sizes, large and bigger sell better than the smaller sizes. Smaller sizes are normally really, really hard to move in men's. Um, same with women's. Larger sizes sell a little bit better than the smaller sizes. So it says combine. And then at that point, your orders combine. Oh, I lost connection. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with the line connections. Man, this connection is horrible. Um, yeah. If you need me to explain that, I'll re explain. Use any automation bots. I got for the uh, connection. Well, that was me. No, that was me. That was, I just lost connection. I had to reset my router this morning because I literally had no internet. Me per day. If you answer me, I definitely. Okay, about the combined shipping. When you're shipping your orders on eBay, there's a shipping tab at the top. Select the two items or three items or four items that you want to combine. Hit that and then hit um, um, print label or purchase labels. And then you select them again on the separate page and then you hit combine. And that's all you have to do. And then it combines it. Do you hire outside help? Not yet. We will hire outside help at some point. We run the whole business out of our house. So there's minimal overhead. And last year we ran off 40% margins. So after all fees, shipping, cost of goods, we ran off 40% margins. Um, yeah, it was really good, really good year. What type of plan do you um, use in List Perfectly? I have the most expensive plan. But that's because I cross list a ton. So that's why I bought the most expensive plan. All right, next up, I guess we'll ship these out. These are men's LL Bean jeans. These are flannel line jeans, flannel line jeans. Really good to pick up. We paid six forty two and these sold for thirty five bucks. Thirty five bucks. I normally only see you buy men's. Do you ever buy women's? Yes, my wife buys women's. Um, we already shipped a couple women's items today. For example, a pair of Spanx new with tags. We paid thirty two dollars and ten cents for those. Sold for a hundred dollars on Mercari. So we're getting more into women's, um, but we do focus mainly on men's because that's where I focused when I first started. All right, for these jeans, they're not going to fit into a flat rate envelope because they are massive. So I'm just going to put these in a box and ship them out of the box. So what is their name again? K the book nerd. K the book nerd. If somebody could, one of my mods, if you're in the chat really quick, if you could uh, write her name and pin it, I'd appreciate it. K the book nerd. Free shipping on jeans. Yes, I gave free shipping on jeans. I get free shipping on pretty much all of my items. All of my items except for like heavier items or like uh, shoes and stuff like that or collectibles. So yes, I do get free shipping. My margins are good enough. I paid six forty two for these. Even if they ship for where are they going? Let's see where they're going. Hopefully they're not going too far away. I might have to bag these if they're going far away. They're going to PA. Let's see how much they're going to weigh. Uh, they weigh two pounds, six ounces. I should have done this before. I actually threw these in a box and they are 10 by seven by five. Five. And this is going regular priority. Yeah, this is only shipping nine dollars and fifty nine cents. So even I paid six forty two for them. They sold for thirty five bucks. So margins are still really good. I'm probably gonna make like fifteen dollars after all fee shipping cost of goods on these. But yes, I get free shipping. Those are heavy jeans. They are a little bit heavier, but again, nine dollars and fifty nine cents. I could have thrown in a padded flat rate, but again, margins are good. I only paid six forty two, and I'm paying nine dollars to ship. So I'm still after all fee shipping cost of goods. I'm make fifteen dollars profit. And remember, when you talk about profit. You're making $15 and you're getting your $642 back. A lot of people don't understand that. You're basically, I'm tripling my money. I'm doubling, but technically tripling. What app do you use to remove the background of photos? I don't use any apps at all. Zero apps. I use light boxes to take my photos in. How many sales do you have in a day? Um, last month, it's going to be skewed now because I sell on whatnot. But the last two months before this, when I was just selling on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook, I stopped selling on Facebook. 
I was doing about 11 sales per day, 11 per day. Do you have a uh, minimum purchase for free shipping? No, uh, all my clothing is pretty much free shipping except for heavier items. Like heavier jackets, like three pounds, four pound leather jackets. Those are all shipping and like buyer pay shipping for those. Um, but everything else is uh, pretty much free shipping. So uh, tri tri uh, tripling your money, say that again. So if I sell that, if I paid 640, 672 for those jeans, you have to understand. I hope that's not the mailman. Sounds like the mailman. Shit. Um, if I paid 672 for those and I sell them and make a $15 profit, I'm getting $15 plus I'm getting my 672 back. That's how it works. Hold on. Let me check the, see if that's the mailman. If that is, I'm fucked. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. Thank, thank Jesus, because I got to get these out. I cannot drive these over. All right, we got to go a little quicker because it is almost one o'clock. Next up, we got a Polo Ralph Lauren, 100% lambs wool. I got this in a bulk buy from my golf guy. I paid nine seventy two for these. These sold for forty bucks. Forty bucks. You sent offers to watchers on eBay. Yes, I do that normally twice per day. This weekend, I didn't do it once, so I have like sixty offers to send after this. Do you think the sharing your closet so much on Poshmark? Do you get um, get your closet seen is BS. Um, no, it makes, makes it so you're, you're active on Poshmark. I do think it's kind of tedious, but to be honest, you can share your whole closet with the click of only a couple buttons. Now you don't need a bot to do it. I know a lot of people don't know that they, they changed that a long time ago. So now you can share your whole closet with the click of like three buttons. You click the settings button in the top right hand corner, you go and you click active items and then you um, hit select all and then you scroll to the bottom and then you hit um, share all and it shares your whole closet for you. No bot needed. Yep. I, I can't believe a lot of people don't know that. They made that like a big announcement on Poshmark when it, when it happened. So the only thing you need a bot for really is to send offers for you and to share other people's closets. If you're not doing either of those and you're just using a bot to share your own closet, you're wasting your money because you can do it all yourself. So you guys want to see how to do that? We got a lot of people asking about it. Hold on. I'll show you guys exactly how to do it right now. Ready? Sorry, sorry, uh, um, YouTube, you won't be able to see this. All right, here's my Poshmark closet. Let me angle this down. All right, so I'm just going to go into my Poshmark closet. All right, see this little button right here? There's a little button right there. It looks like a, a, a wrench. I'm going to hit that. You can hit share to followers. Then you're going to go down here and you're going to hit available items. So now it's only going to share your available items and then you'll scroll. So I'm not going to scroll through my whole closet right now, but as you can see at the top, that is going to start increasing as I scroll. So it's selecting items 144, 192, 140. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit share to followers and now it's automatically sharing my closet. There's a captcha, of course, but now it's automatically sharing my closet for me. No bot needed. So if you're paying for a bot, cancel your bot service today. Tell them, K-Way said you don't need a bot anymore. Sorry. Pictures looking fresh. Yeah, if you want to see how my pictures look, eBay store linked in my bio. All those were taken on the light boxes behind me. I also have Lowe's link, Lowe's, they have those linked in my bio as well. All right, next up, we got a pair of men's Lucky Brand jeans. I paid $21.18 for these. These sold for 50 bucks. You wash a clothes before selling only if they have stains or bad smells. The only time I wash clothing. Stains or bad smells, that's when I wash them. Just getting here, how do you share for free? Sorry. Um, wrench on Poshmark on your closet, top right hand corner, there's a little wrench. It looks like a settings wrench. Then once you click that, you're going to click share to followers. Then at the bottom left, you're going to hit available items because you don't want it to share um, items that have already sold. And then once you click that, Go to the top right hand corner now exact opposite from that wrench there's a square box you're going to hit that and then you're going to go and select all of your items and then share them to your followers i'll make a video on that today i'll make a video you sell purses also we're not selling purses yet but that is a field that my wife is interested in selling in so uh, once she learns that field we will start selling purses i think those will sell good on whatnot too so lucky brand jeans again selling for 50 bucks yeah, my biggest platform is eBay. That's where I sell. Although, whatnot is starting to creep up. 
We are selling a ton on whatnot. Appreciate everybody that came out yesterday to whatnot too. If you haven't signed up through whatnot, if you're just coming in, you don't know what whatnot is. Our next show is going to be next Saturday at 8.30 or next Sunday at 8.30. Again, it's a Sunday show. We apologize. We just got things next weekend. Use the link in my bio to sign up. You get $15 to spend for free when you sign up through my link. Come to our next show. We're going to have some steel. Like Every show is just going to get better and better because you guys are – we, we appreciate all the support. And because we're getting all the support, we're like, we got to give more and more. So some of the items like last night, we lost money on, but that's okay because it's fun. It's exciting. You guys get good deals. We sell stuff super fast. We can go back out and shop some more. It's a lot of fun. So if you haven't signed up through whatnot, I got a link in my bio. Sign up. We're going to have fun on the next show. Next up, did I forget to grab these. Oh, no, I grabbed them. Never mind. Next up, um, these are a pair of Paige men's jeans. These are brand new in the package. Um, we paid $28.87 for these. These sold for 50, 55 bucks. Never heard of it. What is whatnot? Whatnot is this. I'm basically on the screen, but I'm auctioning items off. And this all starts at a dollar. Well, they're loaded in for a dollar. Some of them get pre-bids. But um, like last night, we sold four reseller boxes. So we fill those boxes up with 10 quality resellable items. You guys bid on them. And then uh, it goes up to whatever you guys want to. We show all the items in the box as well. So you, it's not like a mystery box. It's not like we're trying to scam you. We show you all the items. You guys see it. Um, and then uh, you guys decide what you want to bid, how much you want to bid. Um, I will say this. Last night when we were packing up the one of the boxes, we noticed one of the items had stains on them. So what I did was I threw in a, a North Face long sleeve um, and I let them keep the... Uh, the Hawaiian shirt. Sometimes we miss stuff. Um, these are, some of them are used items. Um, so that person got an extra item just because it was my fault. So, um, they'll, they'll probably be able to get the stains out of that item, but because I missed it, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to give you uh, more because I made the mistake. So we will do that every once in a while. And if you guys ever buy one of those reseller boxes and you see stuff with stains in it, just let me know what's up hidden Nile. Just let me know. And I will, uh, I'll make it right. So did you, do you lose money on whatnot? No, overall we make money. If we were losing money on whatnot, we wouldn't do it. We do make money, but there are some items that don't sell for what we think they're going to sell for. And because we start them at a dollar, we do lose a little bit of money on those, but all in all, we do make money on whatnot. So that's why we, we keep doing it. What's going on hidden aisle. If you guys aren't following hidden aisle, he does some uh, whatnot auctions as well. Go give him a follow. I think he does mostly shoes over there, right? Um, all right, we're on to our last, oh no, two, two more clothing items. And then we got some hard goods and then we're done. Hopefully this mailman doesn't come anytime soon. All right, next up, Travis Matthew pants. These are brand new in the package. We paid $28 and 86 cents for these. These sold for 60 bucks. I have three more available. So is vintage a good niche? Um, yes, vintage sells. Um, I will say most of the time when it comes to vintage People, they get stuck in the vintage area and they don't want to venture out. It's good to have a good mix of vintage and modern. That's what I would say. And that's what I do. I don't focus on vintage, but if I ever find a vintage piece, I will pick it up. So it's good to good to have a little mix of both. Um, I sold a dead Black Widow spider on eBay once for eight bucks. Wow, dusty. That is not a niche that I want to be in, but that is an awesome sale. Did you just find that in like the corner of your room and you're like, man, somebody on eBay would want this thing. Let me throw this up. Did you even take pictures in the corner of the room? Like it was like underneath like a couple of your socks in the corner and you were like, let me snap a couple pictures of this and I'm going to throw it on eBay really quick. Dead Black Widow Spider purchased here on eBay. That's kind of a weird, it's a really weird sale. I must say. Not something that I will ever list. I buy dead bugs. See, Trisha buys dead bugs. Trisha looks like a person that buys. I'm just kidding. I hear people buy teeth on eBay. Probably people buy all kinds of stuff on eBay. I found a one in my yard and I sprayed it with bleach and Google. Someone said it was selling. So then you sold it. So you, not only. Wow. Okay. I can't keep saying the D word. Otherwise TikTok might TikTok might catch on. So. We'll just leave it there. That's a pretty weird sale, I must say. So, I mean, Trisha, no, I'm just messing with her. She knows I'm messing with her. I have some um, dead bugs um, on my bedroom wall. Yikes. Yikes. All right. This is a bad sale that looks really, really good.
So this is why you need to know what people are actually paying for items. When everybody says like, I had a million dollars in sales this weekend. If they paid a million dollars for their inventory, they didn't make any money. And this is an example of an item that you guys are going to be like, holy crap, you sold that for that much. That's insane. But then when I told you, tell you what I paid for it, it's not going to sound that insane. So this is a North Face jacket. This is a Gore-Tex North Face jacket, brand new with the tags. Really good jacket. Retail price on this, I think, is like four something. Hold on. I'll tell you right now. Retail price on this is 650 bucks. This was a rookie mistake right here. This sold for $200. But I picked this up two plus years ago at a TJ Maxx for $191.53. So I made a rookie mistake. It was a good size. It's a, well, it's a men's medium. It's not a great size. But I saw the retail price and I was like, man, if that's $650, i will be able to get $400 for it. So I'll make $200. Bucks. Mm -mm. I didn't do my right comps. I listed it super high. I eventually got an offer for it um, over the weekend for 200 bucks. I sold it for 200 bucks. So after fee shipping cost of goods, I'm actually going to lose money on the sale, but at least I'm getting that 191 that I spent back and being able to reinvest in a better inventory. This again was a rookie mistake. This is why when you go to thrift stores and you see a brand new tag item on the shelf and it says $68 is the retail price, don't just go buy that item because it probably isn't going to sell anywhere near that. Make sure you're doing your due diligence, looking up comps and all that good stuff. So this is, it looks like an amazing sale. Unfortunately, it's just not an amazing sale. It's basically I'm making my money back. That's it. So uh, I believe so. Um, no way. Um, you get a 1099 at 600. Dusty, I've sold more than $600 just on this live. So I don't really care about a 1099. By the way, that, that rule isn't in effect and it's probably not going to be in effect. They're probably going to get rid of it. But if you're just selling just $600 during the year and as soon as you make $600, you stop selling, you're doing it wrong. Um, yeah. By the way, this is a Gore-Tex jacket too. I don't know if I said that. Really good one. But unfortunately, not a great sale. I wish it would have went for the 400 that I thought it was going to sell for, but it didn't. I got to get a bag for this really quick. Oh, it fell over. I'll pick that up after. All right, I'm going to throw this into one of these bags right here. And I probably am going to box this one because I did pay 200 bucks for it. I just don't want it to get damaged in shipment. So um, I believe eBay is 20000 before you send you a 1099. Yes, it's back to the old old rule for last year. I think the, the new rule is in effect this year, the $600 rule, but they're probably going to change it right before the end of the year again. Um, there's too many, too many issues with that rule. For example, if, if I'm, if me and Kat, my sister, um, if for some reason she owed me 600 bucks and she sends me 600 bucks on PayPal because of she owed me 600 bucks, I would get a 1099 from PayPal. And then I have to tell the IRS that she owed me 600 bucks and this isn't taxable and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah. That's, that's the issue that comes into that. And there's a lot of people that do like cash app and 600 bucks is such a small number that it's so easy to hit. So that's the big issue with that. All right. This one is packaged up. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to throw it into a box. I know I don't have to, but they did pay up for this. So I don't mind taking care of them a little bit. What's up Juan? Appreciate the tiny dinies and the roses. I quit using PayPal because um, they got ridiculous. I still take PayPal. I take PayPal and Venmo. All right. Throw this into the box. Almost done. We got another four items after this to pack up, and then we're finally finished. Finally. And then I have to go set all this outside so my mailman can hate me. And we got a new mailman too, so he's really going to hate me. All right, this uh, box is again 10 by 7 by 5, right? Yeah, 10 by 7 by 5. Luckily, it's Monday, so he comes a little bit later than usual. All right, this is going to ship for $9.94 going to New York. Venmo is PayPal, yes, that's why I use both of them. So if I ever have an issue, I can just call PayPal and they normally can take care of me. Appreciate the roses. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
killing that goal. How much stuff do you have to ship? I'm almost done. Um, I shipped out like 30 plus whatnot orders already. And then I shipped out 25 eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari orders. So I've been shipping all morning. All right, let's ship some trains. First train is the best train sale. This is a um, locomotive train. Here it is right here, locomotive train. Um, I picked this up in a bulk buy. If you want to watch that video, it's up on YouTube. YouTube, you can watch that at any time. Um, pick these up for about $3.25 each. This one sold for $39.99 plus shipping. I still have thousands of these, literally thousands of these still the list. Um, I'll eventually get around to it. Probably when we hire help is when I'm going to get around to doing that. So how's your merch coming? Merch shirts should, the prototypes should be here this week, probably on Wednesday. So you guys are going to see that. And then they're going to be releasing on whatnot um, probably within a week or two after that. I think it takes about a week for them to do the bulk order. So um, you guys are going to see the prototype this weekend or this week. And then those are going to be sold on whatnot. I figure Scott wants a sticker. Uh, I figured uh, I figured we'll do them on whatnot. The reason being is because a lot of you haven't used your $15 code. So if we decide, depending on how much we pay for them is what we're going to price them at, obviously. But if we sell them for, let's say, 25 bucks, and you guys use your $15 code, you're only paying $10 for a merch shirt, which makes me feel a little bit better than um, selling them for 25 So um, that's one reason why we're doing it on WhatNot is because a bunch of people still have their uh, $15 codes available. Finally, merch. I know. We got a women's shirt and we got a men's shirt. Both have uh, different designs. So you ladies out there, you'll have a different design than the men's shirt. And they have a lot of meaning behind them. I'll explain the meaning when the shirts come in. Um it's, it's a super, super special shirt to me. So I'll explain that. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It represents somebody in the shirt. So it's pretty cool. I'll tell the story behind the shirt when it comes. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like the story behind it. It's not just a shirt. It's got more meaning behind it. So it should be good. 3XL. I believe we have some 3XL available. Yes. We got 3XL to, well, we haven't decided the sizes yet too. Uh, we haven't given, given the order yet because we wanted to get the prototypes in. Once we get the prototypes in, then we'll let you guys know. How big size are you going to get? I think we're going to get 3XLs, 2XLs, XLs, larges for men's. I don't think we're going to get, we might get like a couple mediums too. No smalls. Sorry, small guys out there. We're not going to get any smalls. Um, and then for women's, we're going to get 2XLs, XLs, larges, mediums and a very few smalls so that's all coming we're gonna order i think 100 shirts because we get a better deal at 100 and then uh if we have to reorder we'll reorder again what's up hacked all right next up another train sale this is not a locomotive it is just a car appreciate you hack for the pumpkin pie um this one is a four-door high cube box car um this one again we paid 325 for it and this one sold for 25 bucks plus shipping these are the items that I charge shipping on because they're collectibles. Collectors don't really ca care about um, sentimental. That's what it is. Yes. Collectors don't really care about paying shipping. So that's why I charge shipping on these. By the way, um, Kings of eBay did a, he did a store review for me. I did it as a joke, but he actually did a store review, which is pretty cool. He actually helped me out with a couple things that I had mistakes on my store. So shout out to Kings. But uh, one thing he mentioned about these trains is I priced them arbitrarily, and I did. Um, I priced them all the same price depending on what car they were. So these longer cars, I priced them at $34.99 uh, uh, plus shipping. The reason being is if you look up these cars, feel free to go on my store right now and try to look up comps for these. It's impossible because a lot of these cars, there are none available. There's They're nowhere. So to get them to sell, I price them all the same price with best offer. Some sell super fast and I might be losing money on those. I might've been able to price them for more. Others, I take best offers and a lot of them sell full price like that uh, locomotive. So um, it's always, it's, it's good to look up comps, but sometimes for some items, it's impossible. You just can't look up comps. So what's up Juan? Juan's over on YouTube. I think on 1099, what do I do? You can print out your 1099 from eBay. You didn't get one. You didn't get a 1099. You can always print it out. So today he's gonna he's gonna learn. He's gonna learn about this stuff today. But my mailman did say he's already. Oh man, here we go. Here we go with the connection issues. 
There we go. We're back. My mailman did um, say that he talked to um, the other mailman in the office so they know about my my uh, my stop. Sorry about the connection issues. This one's going to go for two pounds and is shipping priority mail to Texas for $8.82. What if I want to pay taxes quarterly? You can pay taxes quarterly. You can do it right on the I, um, IRS website. Um, yeah, it's really easy to do. Just Google it. It's super easy. They didn't send a 1099 um, this year if you didn't meet the threshold. There you go. Like the $600 rule wasn't um, available, but if you did hit over 20K like I did, I did get a um, I did get a 1099. So if you didn't hit that threshold, you didn't get it. All right, last two sales. Somebody asked earlier. They're probably gone by now. If I sell shoes, I do sell shoes. These Both of these shoes, again, are you a tax expert? Chris at Peak is the best tax ex expert. Go ask him all of your tax questions. Um, these two shoes, again, they look excellent. I sold these for $143.99. I'm losing money on both of these shoes that I'm selling because I bought these as a hold. Nike re-released them multiple times, drove the price down. Unfortunately, I am not making any money on these, but I am getting my money back. So again, make sure when somebody says they sold a million dollars worth of stuff, make sure you're asking a lot of questions like, how much profit did you make on those? What did you pay for those? All those questions, normally after they answer them, it doesn't look that great. And here's an example. It's not that great of a sale. I actually lost money on that. And I lost money on the North Face jacket. It doesn't happen very often where I lose money. But this is an example of why I do not buy shoes anymore to resell. Um, unless they're like Jordan 4s or like super hype sneakers, I'll buy those like Travis Scott's. But I won't drive, buy any more like Jordan 1 lows. Won't happen. How do you get eBay tape? You, I use my quarterly coupon. If you're good, um, link in my bio. You can purchase directly from eBay. I'd suggest just getting regular. It'll do you better. All right. So this is just going to go into here. These are going to be authenticated, but they've already been authenticated once because I purchased them from eBay. So I don't have to worry about them like coming back to me. Um, I do get a free FedEx label to ship these to authenticate. The buyer doesn't pay anything for authentication. eBay doesn't give them any, me anymore for it. Um, as long as my package is under 30 pounds and it's in a 20 by 20 by 20 box, I can ship it for free. Where do you find your quarterly coupon? If you have an eBay store, um, it will be under your store tab and it'll be down at the bottom. It says subscriber, um, not at the bottom, third from the bottom, it says subscriber discounts. That's where you find your code. But it should be when you go to the store, it should automatically be there too. When you check out. Just gonna throw a little bit of paper in here. And this one will ship out with that free label. I do have to drop this off at a FedEx location. So that means I'm gonna be going to a Walgreens later. Yep, you have to have a store to get it. You don't just get a free coupon, you gotta you gotta pay to play. So I'm just going to put that right there. That one is shipped. And we got one more pair going out. Another same same exact pair, except they're a size 13 and not a size 10. These sold for 150 bucks. Again, losing some money on these. But at least I'm getting that money back. All right. What's up, Bearded? Same exact pair. Right there. As you can see, it's got the eBay authentication tag on it because they've already been authenticated once. Where do you get your boxes? Boxes, again, these are eBay boxes. I get them from that store and I use my quarterly coupon on those as well. So did you sell anything over the weekend? I sold absolutely nothing, Barry. I've just been packing up just boxes. These didn't actually sell. These are all fake sales. Barry, did you sell any syrup this weekend? Barry, when are you going to sell that stuff? It's actually really good. I had some. I had some the other day. It was actually really, really good. Big sales are my favorite. What's up, Surf? Surf's up. Me and Surf's up are going to be doing a live tomorrow night at 9.30. We're going to do, I'm going to do a little Q&A with him, ask him a little bit about his life. I'm probably going to ask him why he likes the Colts because that's a really good question. Why do you actually like the Colts? Um... But yeah, we're going to have a bunch of questions and uh, we're just going to hang out. So it should be a lot of fun. 
Because there's no such thing as real Colts fans. Like, there's none of them out there. You should be a Titans fan. Barry canceled your whatnot awards. I did. I don't think Barry ordered anything from us, to be honest. I don't think he did. Colts 2015, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you like the syrup? My wife said it's not as good this year. It was good. I liked it. I ate it with some um, – um, one of those like uh, sausages that they look like corn dogs. I ate, ate one of those. I don't know what the hell you call those things. Um, have you seen the Peter Millar tailgate polo listed one last night? Sold today for 45. I've never seen one of those. No, tailgate polos. Tailgate. You're packing other people's sales. I am. I am. There's a little guy. He's coughing in the background. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and off. I got to check on the little one uh, real quick. And then we're going to be live uh, later tonight. I don't know if wifey's going to go live because obviously little one's sick. Um, if she is, it's going to be 845. And then um, I'll be live tonight at 930 doing the normal listing and all that good stuff. So appreciate you guys hanging out and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>